Hey everyone, so on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're gonna find out what this random circuit board that I picked up off eBay is about, along with this plastic case that I printed and these alligator clips from the local Harbor Freight. So let's dive into it. Okay, so for any of you who own Freedom Mobiles, I mean cars or trucks or anything that has a lead acid battery in it, you will know that over time they do start to go bad. The batteries will have a process called sulfate, uh, sulfate buildup on the plates and well, that pretty much kills the battery eventually. Now there are devices out there that claim that they can desulfate a battery and while it's not a guarantee, for what I spent for this little board right here, it's well worth the experiment. And to be perfectly honest, I think with all the components in this project, I'm barely tipping the scales at 20 bucks. And considering most of these items cost a lot more, I figured, eh, you know what, what's 20 bucks? We'll go with the DIY approach. I'll make a little bit of it back in ad revenue. The point is, I don't know if this circuit works or not. So you might be thinking I'm a little bit nuts for taking the time to print up a box, but I figured, you know what? It's a good learning experience and based off of things that I've read, it does sound like this will work. And my dad happens to have quite a few old car batteries kicking around that don't work anymore. So I figured, you know what, this is totally worth a shot. So in a separate video that's been released alongside with this that I'll link to in the description, I cover the literal raw designing process where you get to see in real time the process of me making this box and then Printing it was pretty simple. So I'm gonna jump now to a quick montage of, well, actually building this um, thing and then we'll jump back and discuss it. So that took a little longer than I thought and took a little more effort because the soldering iron decided to be a pain, but we got it in there. So let's take a peek. So inside here we have the circuit board, which has the battery desulfator inside. And I've also put in two zip ties to act as strain relief. So even if the wire gets yanked, it's not gonna yank the wires off the board. You can see here that we have our two clips and these would get clipped onto the battery terminals themselves. Initially, I was thinking the wire might not be long enough, but now that I look at it, yeah, it has enough length to it. So the idea behind this circuit is, and this is just me paraphrasing from what the eBay ad said and what from my research said, 
pretty much the way it works is it's powered by the power that's in the battery. So you might need to jumpstart the battery, if you will, with a charger to get the voltage up high enough temporarily. Once it gets going, I think it kind of is self-sustaining. This pretty much has a voltage boosting circuit inside that runs at a high frequency. And the idea is setting that high frequency at a higher than what the battery is used to. Um, normally voltage helps to break down the, um, the buildup on the plates inside. Now, obviously, if you wanna know more about it, I'll post a link or two in the description for how it works, but that's all that I'm gonna get into with that. And like I said, it's very much a, you know, it doesn't always work, but eh, it's worth a shot. The other thing I will say is the process can take up to a month per battery from what I read. So I'm gonna work on getting this down to my dad who has a bunch of batteries and then we'll get started with that. But let's, uh, let's uh, stay on topic here, Calvin. So we got the board in there. Um, there is no heat sink on the MOSFET inside, which is just an electronic switch. And I will see what I can do about making up a heat sink for that. I am also gonna be holding down the circuit board in here just with a piece of foam tape. Obviously, this thing isn't gonna see a bunch of abuse, thankfully. They also printed up this lid piece that pops on here, and I'm just gonna hold that in place with a couple of dots of glue. Obviously, if I need to access inside, I can just break the glue seam. And as I covered it in the designing video, I did create a gap around the edge so you can come along with something and you can just break apart the glue seams. Other thing I will say is there are vents on the side. I don't know how hot this thing gets, but I figure four weeks inside of a sealed box wouldn't exactly be the best for it either. So if you wanna see the designing of the case, like I mentioned, I have that link down below. As for this, I need to obviously finish up those last few details, which I'm not gonna do on camera. Get this down to my dad and see if we can resurrect any of his dead batteries because hey even if the battery comes back to three quarters of its lifespan in an emergency battery's a battery that can charge your phone that's all that matters so hope you guys found this interesting episode of make it with calvin interesting if you did comment down below obviously in about a month or two i will have a video discussing if this actually did anything and we'll go from there so until then i'll see you here next time on make it with calvin